Hey guys, it's Lobe and welcome to Vlogmas Day 1! I cannot believe that I'm doing Vlogmas because the first time I heard about it, I said that I can't vlog every day for the month of December. But most of you requested that I do Vlogmas and this is my way of thanking you guys for always supporting me. So, let's do this. I am just preparing for an event. I finished my makeup, ko, so I'm gonna put you guys here. Okay, so I already applied foundation. I use this Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation stick. And for my concealer, I used the Sam Tip Concealer. I am in the shade 02. And so Makeup Forever, I'm in the shade Y245. Okay, so I'm just gonna set my under eyes with this Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just gonna set the areas kung saan ko nalagay yung concealer. For bronzer, I'll be using this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Kathleen Lights made me buy this. I don't like the smell of this. It smells like sunblock. Usually, pag event, ginagamit ko yung Anastasia Beverly Hills ko na eyebrow pomade, but I can't find it. Sobrang tagal ko na hinahanap yun, pero feeling ko nasa bag ko. I'm just gonna use this ColourPop Brow Boss. In the shade natural brown. Hindi to pang event is super natural nito and <laughs> basa hindi na siya pang event. Pang everyday lang kasi to so hindi siya intense. Pag pomade kasi it's gonna stay all day. Tapos ang ganda ng pigment niya. Mm, I think I'm gonna use this ColourPop Sweet Talk Pressed Powder Palette. Okay, so first I'm gonna use this color Mido. It's like a peach color. Next naman, I'm gonna dip into this color side to side, the shimmer shade. Every time I put this eyelids ko, I get compliments sa eye look ko. Ang ganda na ng eyeshadow ko, mukha ko nag-effort, pero dalawa lang talaga yung ginamit ko. This shimmer shade is just too pretty, favorite nito ng friends ko. Every time they borrow this palette, ito yung shimmer na ginagamit nila. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's so nice. I'm gonna take this color again, Mido, and apply it to my lower lash line. I'm just gonna curl my lashes using the Shu Imora Eyelash Curler. And for mascara, I'm gonna use the Heroin Make Volume and Curl Mascara, super waterproof. You need a remover if you use this mascara, because it's super waterproof. I don't know why I stopped using this. Ang ganda niya. You can buy this in Japan, pero meron ng mga shops dito sa Philippines na nagsasell nito. But of course, mas mura talaga siya sa Japan. There you go. That's just one coat. I'm gonna go back to my bronzer to contour my nose. So... All right. For blush, I'm gonna use this Kiko Milano Smart Color Blush in the shade 05. I got this when I went to Europe. Sobrang mura lang kasi ng Kiko Milano don. I'm just using my Sephora brush. Gift to ng Ati Hope ko. This blush is super pigmented, grabe. So I'm gonna highlight the face using this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. One of my favorite highlighters. Okay, so for the lippy, maglalagay mo na ng lip balm. Ay, by the way, this is from ColourPop Lippy Balm. Super cute packaging. For the lips, ano bang bagay sa look na to? <laughs> For my lippy, I'll be using this Maybelline New York in the shade Brooklyn Bear. Kasi bagay siya sa eye look ko. Mm -hmm. There we go. Done with the lippy, I'm just gonna set my face using this MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime. Hey guys, so I just got here some venue and Anita na si Jaya. She's waiting for me sa lobby. And this is my bag for today. It's super cute. Nasa banko call ko to. If you guys haven't watched that video yet, I'm gonna link it down in the description box below. And there's Jaya! Hello! <laughs> Thank you. Yay, we're here! It's a jewelry event. Food! 
good. And here's what I got, chips, dried mangoes, grapes, salami, breaded fish, tapos, cheese, ayan. And of course, lechon. <laughs> and then si Jaya, oh my dessert na siya agad. <laughs> Yan lang, she's just waiting for her pasta. Nandun pa. Sorry if sobrang hina ng voice ko guys. Nahiya kasi ako kasi sobrang formal ng event. Nahiya kasi ako kasi sobrang formal ng event. with Jen. Um, last year we did the yoga collection which we received very positive responses. So we decided to continue uh, this year with Vanessa and Kate. So um, in Orochi now, we have we have what we call an Orochi no woman. We have like a, a standard. So these are uh, very successful in their field. Um, someone who Lang. I'm on my way to my car kasi kukunin ko yung card ko. <laughs> Hindi ko din yung card ko kasi ayokong matempt doon. Ayokong may bilhin sa jewelry. But then I found a very pretty necklace. Heart yung design niya. And I really, really love it. It's so pretty. Papakita ko sa inyo guys later. Okay, so I got my card na. And I'm on my way back sa event. So this jewelry line collaborated with three empowered women. And ito sila. Vanessa, Kate, and Jen. Here it is! Yay! It's so pretty! 18k white gold yung ginamit. And then yung diamond is 0.49 BS. I super love it! Hey guys! I'm in the car already. Tapos na ako sa event. And then I'm just gonna meet Jaya sa Ayala Center. Kasi magmumovie kami. <laughs> I'm not really knowledgeable about jewelry. All I know is that when picking diamonds, dapat BS1 or BS2 siya. Kasi iba talaga yung sparkle ng BS1 or BS2 na diamond. So, ayun. Dapat hindi ako bibili kasi sobrang natam talaga ako. It was just so pretty. Mahilig kasi ako sa heart since lovely yung name ko. Love, ganun. <laughs> Love, Marie. <Char> <laughs> Love, Marie. Love, <laughs> Marie. I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit expensive. Ma 50,000 something ko siya na bili. Pero kasi sila sabi ng parents ko parate na investment yung jewelry. So, yeah. Oh my god, sobrang traffic. Ano bang meron? Feeling ko may nabangga. Oh my god, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my god, feeling ko may baha. Oh, naging u turn lahat. Mm hmm. Finally, nasa Ayala na ako and nagpa-pog yung camera ko kaya sabang lamig sa car ko kanina. Wait lang. Wipe ko lang yung camera ko. Kanina pa nandito si Jaya and I'm just waiting for her. Tapos, eh, meet ko rin si Rashi dito. Ah, nagpa-pog talaga yung camera ko. Nasa restroom lang ako, just waiting for Jaya. And this is my outfit for today. I'm just having dinner with my friends. Ayut! <laughs> We're having seafood pasta. Ayan, this is so good. We're done with dinner. 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 We're done Rashi Dina, Rada, Rada. Don't call me Miss Rad, please. Bye, Yut! 
<laughs> okay, cinema four. We're inside the movie. Just start to shine a while. Yeah, so. hindi na ako makablog, but I love you guys. Konti lang yung tao actually. Yeah, mga ano lang kami two four. Mga seven lang kami. Please do not panic. Yung katapos na movie. Sorry if sobrang haggard ko na. Grabe yung emotions ng movie, parang sakit sa heart. Hey guys, I just got home and I just wanna quickly share my thoughts about the movie. I like the movie, sobrang realistic niya. And I'm sure most of you guys saw the movie already since ito yung last week ng The Annulment. Or sa mga hindi nanood, sorry, spoil ko kayo. So nag-cheat yung guy. And Lovey Po chose to end their marriage. Sabi niya, she can forgive him but she can never ever forget what he did. And wala na din siyang trust sa husband niya, so... Parang ang useless to be in a relationship or to stay na walang trust. Sure, mag-aaway lang kayo every time na aalis yung partner nyo, pagdududahan nyo, and every time mag-aaway kayo, you will use that card against him or her. So, parang you're just delaying the inevitable. Doon din kayo pupunta eh. Kasi nga, wala ka ng trust sa partner mo. And parang in-emphasize ng movie na not everyone will give second, third, or fourth chance. So, while you have that chance, make the most out of it kasi hindi lahat nagbibigay ng second chances. So, well, hindi lang sa guys, sa mga, sa mga girls din kasi hindi lang naman lalaki yung nag-cheat. If you made a mistake in the past and he or she decided to forgive you, then you're so lucky. Pero kasi sa situation nila Lovey and yung husband niya, I don't know the guy's name, feeling ko JM, JM de Guzman, it was easy for them to end their marriage kasi wala silang kids. Madami na existing ngayon kasi my kids nga, they wanna keep their family intact. I can't really blame them if they chose to stay because they love their partner and, and they're willing to forgive their partner. And parang in-emphasize din ng movie na even though ikaw yung nakipaghiwalay, it doesn't mean that you're not hurting as well. Actually, feeling ko times to nga yung pain eh, sa, sa nakipaghiwalay. Kasi Lovey ended their marriage even though love pa niya yung husband niya. Yung point niya lang is she can't stay kasi she can't trust him anymore. Yun lang. Kasi yun nga, if walang trust yung relationship, it will never ever work. Especially sa akin, trust is very important kasi LDR nga ako. So ayun, I can't really blame the people na nagstay sa relationship nila or sa marriage nila kahit masakit. Pero kasi, they stayed mainly for the reason na love nila yung partner niya. But I can't also blame the people who chose to let go. It's okay to let go. It's valid. Especially, yun nga, if it's cheating, ganun. I mean, you can be happy on your own naman, di ba? Just make sure na happy ka, that you think you deserve this. Huwag kang magstay because convenient. Ayaw mo mag-start all over again. You can always, always start a new life. So, yun lang. Ang dami kong sinasabi dito. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope na-enjoy nyo tong vlog na to. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys! Mwah!